Well, I'll take you back to the John Molina fight, man. Listen, Ivan Redtech, man, he do his thing. He got busy in this fight, man. I was just watching it and looking at the front foot dominance, the way he go to the body, the way he cut the ring off, the way he let his hands go. People, it's going to be a tough fight for your boy Danny Garcia, man. We're shaking, fight world. We're shaking out there. It's Sunday, man. We talking boxing like we do. We chilling, you dig? Long night. Saturday night was good. We had some great fights. The biggest upset of 2020 so far. My boy J-Rock, man. You dig? And you know, I want y'all to know, and if you're new to the pay, subscribe, but I called it here first, man. I told you, man, my boy Rosario was going through his thing. He was going to win that fight against J-Rock because he had the skills and the technique. Styles make fights, and he was able to overcome and get rid of, you know, the cobwebs early in the fight. I said he needed to make a statement in order for J-Rock to respect his power, and he did that, man. Boy, could crack, man. There's some things I want to see him do before going into the rematch, like defense. Move his feet to the side. You see what I'm saying? Now, he don't have to work on his footwork because Mexicans are just, they flat-footed dudes. They don't really have the slick, athletic, you know, boxing ability as a black fighter. That's just known. That's known facts, right? But defense, he needs to work on. And letting his hands go a little bit more in combinations. You see what I'm saying? But he did his thing, man. The boy was shooting four points combinations, but he did it in moments where I just thought that uh there were other times in, you know, in that fight, like the third, the second round, where he could have just got him up out of there early, easy, man. But it's about the footwork of your boy Rosario, man. Look, the next if the rematch happened, which I would I would suggest that J Rock be easy for back. Allow, you know, your boy Rosario to do his thing, man. Go back to the drawing board because the fight is going to look the same in the rematch. But at the end of the day, we talking about my boy, Ivan Redtech, man. This kid is going to shock the world. And, um, oh, I didn't tell you that I called it here first. So your boy CBT2020, let it be known that I'm the prediction king and I predicted the biggest upset of 2020 so far. You feel me? I, you, you know it's evident. You think what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, you know, I think Danny Garcia is going to um, get upset as well, man. You understand me? Because Ivan Retech, man, this kid is talented, and he's fun for dominant, and he got a good chin. And I know you guys are saying, look, man, he a 130-pounder. He fought Tevin Farmer. I know. You understand me? Tevin Farmer beat him. That shows you how talented Tevin Farmer is. You dig what I'm saying? But that's Danny Garcia. You know, motive, man. He always looking for a rod soccer, you know what I'm saying, to smash out. But I think this is going to be a cherry pick going wrong in this fight here, man. You know, Danny Garcia, you know, would have went against your boy, the way Bully Spence, if he wasn't in that car accident, man. We would have been talking about a great blockbuster pay-per-view fight that I think Danny Garcia would have been able to overcome, you know, the early on onslaught by the way Bully Spence. The way Bully Spence is going to be front foot dominant in that fight versus Danny Garcia. He's not going to try to box it out. He's going to try to walk forward and walk him down. Danny Garcia is a great counter puncher. Styles make fights. So when I tell you that Danny may lose to your boy Ivan Redtech, don't think that, uh, well, how you going to say he could lose to a lower class fighter like Red Tech, but say he going to beat the way Bully Spence, and the way Bully Spence is a way better fighter. Styles make fights, man. You understand what I'm saying? Point blank, period. So I believe that J your boy Jamel Charlo would beat Rosario. You feel me? But I think J-Rock could beat Jamel. Styles make fights. You know, I just believe that J-Rock get up for certain fights. You know what I'm saying? In other fights, he, he just try to use his pure boxing skills. Just like he came in against her. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, we're going to bet money on this fight. Nothing crazy. We may put about $1,500 to $1,000. You see what I'm saying? I want to see what the... Um the Cito's is talking because I'm not going to be out of the loop on this one, man. Because like I said, I picked your boy Rosario, but I ain't put no money up, right? So how, how much did I really feel that Rosario was going to take the win? I could have put $100 up and made a, a 900 You dig? Woo, I would have picked by knockout. You dig what I'm saying? 10 and under? Good Lord. Your boy CBT would have walked home with the suitcase 2020 style. But I was being easy. I don't know why I don't go with my heart, man. I be, I'm the prediction king, son. You dig? But I was like, you know what? Let me fall back. Let me do it for the people. Let me put that on my record because I said that. I'm not going to put money on the fight, Rosario and, and J-Rock, but I'm going to put it on my record. You dig what I'm saying? My record, what, we about 38? 38 and four, four losses right now? Good God. I've been on YouTube for like since, what, 20, 2017, 
2017. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I'm moving and shaking out here, man. You better come to this channel if you want the real prediction, man. Point blank, period, man. I think Danny Garcia, you know what I mean, is limited. He's a one-trick pony. He got a good little jab that he's been working on. He has developed it. But I think that, um, you know, with a pressure fighter, he got problems. With a guy that can move, he got problems. You see what I'm saying? And I think that Ivan Reddick can do a lot of different things. He's the dog man. He's the garbage man. He's the rebounder. You see what I'm saying? And I think that if he put the pressure, you understand what I'm saying? He's going to be able to find some openness because he's not a boxer. He's not looking to move and slip you and, and try to out, out jab you. Out, you know what I mean? Put you out of position. He's trying to go forward. And he got an active, active, uh, you know, faint. You understand me? Active guard, if you will, right? So he's like this all the time. He's like this, right? So he's making Danny think. What, what we gonna do? <laughs> what we gonna do? You see what I'm talking about? So you see how he did Ale Alexander, right? He, he, he timed him and rocked him, boom. And your boy, Danny Garcia, got great timing. So I don't know if he gonna run into something or he gonna make Danny run into something. I just think that Ivan is more skilled because he could do a lot more things. He's not great at anything. He just can do a lot of different things that I think, you know what I mean, it's going to give your boy Danny Garcia not a tough-ass fight. He's going to get the victory. Or he's going to get robbed. And the fans going to say, come on, you try to get in the ring with the way Bully Spence. You understand what I'm saying? But I will say this. Watching you dig J-Rock take a defeat like that for his first defense, I'm happy. Because imagine J-Rock going in the ring with Charlo. You know what I mean? For Undisputed. And Charlo ragtagged him all over the floor because the way he looked at last night. Now, I know I said earlier I believe J-Rock wakes up for different type of fighters and I think he can beat Jamel, but I'm just saying, last night, you feel me? He was not ready to beat. You know what I mean? Charlo would have been on him. Charlo front foot dominant. Charlo going to shoot his punches and bunches with bad intentions on every hook, every jab. You dig? So he would have ragtagged your boy J-Rock and then we would have crowned your boy your Jamel King. Undisputed. I don't want that to happen. You feel what I'm saying? So now we know that we got J-Rock as a champion that's maybe, you know, one-time champion, a uh, guy who got lucky against J-Rock that didn't really have any real skills. Hmm, looking at J-Rock. J-Rock, I mean, looking at her. Her don't really have real skills, man. You know what I mean? He's just a come-forward fighter. You dig what I'm saying? Laura was putting, the, putting those paws on him, and but he continued to come forward. He got a good bed. You dig what I'm saying? And he, you know, pressure bust pipes. And that's how Laura got rocked and got stopped. But other than that, Laura was doing what he had to do. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just happy we not getting no phony, undisputed champion. Now that we see that J-Rock is really not that good, you dig what I'm saying? So now we can move on. You feel what I'm talking about? And now, let's say the way Bully Spence would have went up 154 and fought J-Rock. Like everybody been asking, like I've been asking. Then he got exposed like that. Wait, Bully Spence would have exposed him. You see what I'm saying? The way Bully Spence deal with pressure. You see what I'm talking about? Go to the body, come back upstairs. You dig what I'm saying? And if that J-Rock last night would have came in that ring with the way Bully, we would have been called the way Bully King. See, I don't want to be too quick to call these guys King when we actually don't know the opponent, you know, what the, the opponent can actually do. You see what I'm saying? Now, Rosario came out of nowhere. You understand know what I'm talking about? Like a lot of boxing fans was mad last night, but they don't know Rosario. You know what I mean? They were, they were casuals. You know, fans like us that understand boxing and know who's out there knew that Rosario had a great chance of winning this fight because of his style. And he got a good power. You see what I'm saying? J-Rock did well, don't get me wrong. He went to the... We can't say anything bad about J-Rock performance, right? He was shooting the one, shooting the two, going to the body, slipping shots, going to the body. You think what I'm saying? I was loving his movements, loving his counters, loving his uh, catch and shoots. But I was like looking a little bit slow. You understand me? And you, but he was looking slow against a slow fighter. You dig what I'm saying? So it, it, it was like, okay, you're getting away with this because Rosario was slow. But I peeked at how slow he was and anybody else would have been able to counter him double and triple. And Rosario felt, felt he got his, his swagger back by the third and the fourth and then he was actually catching up and he was landing great shots. You understand me? Your boy... Your boy need to go back and learn that defense, man, because he was getting hit with shots that, you know, lead shots, hooks, lead hooks, lead uppercuts. You don't get hit with lead uppercuts. You get hit with lead jabs, but not a lead uppercut. You did? You know how long it takes for me to go like this with you and shoot the uppercut? No, you're going to block that. 
counting me. You dig what I'm saying? So to get hit with that, that tells me something is wrong and that can't make it a fix. But then you gotta see on the other hand, man, you know, I just think that we, we, we should, you really think about putting your money on your boy, Ivan, man. Make some money on this fight, man. Put $100, put $200. I don't know the, I don't know the odds right now, man, but if you wanna make some money, man, come on. Rock with your boy. I'm going to let you know by Thursday what I'm going to put up for the YouTubers so y'all can come to the page and y'all can put y'all bread up because I know a lot of you cops like to still love Danny Garcia, man. So come on, rock with your boy. And then I'm going to tell y'all how the casinos is giving it up. You dig what I'm saying? So we can put some dollars down on that. You could do it right from your home. You know what I'm saying? On your couch. Go online. Bing, bing, bing. Put $100 up and just watch the fight and watch how that money come flowing into your account. You're going to be like, yo, CBT was right. Let me stop watching boxing and try to get paid off this thing too, man. That's what I'm bringing to the table man other than this exclusive breakdown you dig we're gonna get the whole breakdown by wednesday thursday you see what i'm saying but i'm gonna let you know what i'm leaning towards you dig I, I, i'm picking him i'm picking my boy ivan because i think the ivan man it's just rough and tough man rough and tough man you understand me but we gotta watch about watch out for the timing of your boy danny garcia and we gotta watch out for the inside fighting from your boy um ivan because he's an inside fighter when he in the inside he looks good though like, he looks really good in the inside. Body shot. Hook. Straight. You see what I'm saying? He does his thing. So, but can he get close to Danny Garcia is the problem, right? But I don't want to give away too much, man. I'm going to give you the complete breakdown of what I believe my boy Ivan need to do and what Danny needs to do as well to counter what Ivan brings to the table. And does, you do you think that Danny needs to, need to, do you think Danny needs to make an example? You know what I'm saying? He needs to stop your boy Ivan to show the world, listen, I'm here and I want the way Bully Spence next. What's shaking? What's good? Pay-per-view? Or do you mind him going into a dog fight with a guy that fought Tevin Farm at 130? A guy that doesn't even belong in the ring with him. You see what I'm saying? So the pressure's on your boy Danny Garcia, man. At the end of the day, you rockin' with your boy CBT. We may drop some more videos today. It's Sunday, man. You make it this video Monday, you dig? It depends on how I feel. But you rockin' with the best subscribers to the channel. Down like